Should be a real fun lesson. Um, switching up a little bit here. I'm just going to go through five riffs. Basically five really awesome fish riffs. Um, as always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, also in this lesson, I will have um, the timings for each, each time the song starts. Um, so that way, if you don't care about one of the songs, you can fast forward to the next one. Really appreciate you guys watching. Let's hop right in. So we're going to start here with Simple, and Simple is pretty simple, pretty awesome. So we're playing on the three strings here, we're playing on our, our E, A, and D string. Uh, we start with the first fret of the low E string, so that's our F. And then we're going to uh, use our ring finger on the third fret of the D string. You'll hit that twice, so one. And then I'm just doing a, a walk down here on the A string, starting on the first fret, going all the way down to uh, the third. So index finger hits that first fret of the, um, of the A string, then you hammer on the second, and you hammer on the third. it off there we're on the G string um, middle finger is on the second fret of the G and then ring finger uh, finishes on the third fret of the D so go through that real quickly here or actually slowly So for chalk dust, uh, we're going to start on the third fret of the low E. That is our G. I uh, usually use my middle finger there. And we're going to pull off once, twice, and then hit that open E. And that leads us to an E chord. Index finger is on the first fret of the G string. Ring finger is on the second fret of the D. Middle finger is on the second fret of the A. We're gonna hit that that same rhythm right there. That uh, hit that E twice into an A chord. And your A, you've got the middle finger is on the second fret of the D. Ring is on the second fret of the G and pinky is on the second fret of the B. And that is chalk dust. All right, so sand, uh, basically a kind of a funk on, a, on an A minor chord here. Um, so you're gonna bar the fifth fret um, basically the the E, B, G, and D string. And there's definitely some palm muting in there. And uh, all that is right there is um, on the seventh fret, uh, sorry, yeah, on the seventh fret of the, uh, the G string, or the D string. You're just pulling off to the fifth fret of the D and then hammering right back on. So, so when you're hitting this bar here, um, you're going to do that first uh, upstroke on the, the E and the B, and then I do a downstroke on the, uh, the D and the G. do that pull off hammer on. And that is, so your uh, 
on the on the D string here on the fifth fret. I think that's one, two, three, four, five times maybe. Then you hit the, um, the fifth fret of the uh, G string. Then you finish with the end with the ring finger on the seventh fret of the the D as well. You can have a lot of fun with that one. Alright, so for Tweezer Reprise, we are starting on the 7th fret of the G string. And we're going to hit that and pull off. And right after we pull off, we're going to hit that open. And we're going to go to the 5th fret of the G string and do the same thing. And then we're going to go to the seventh fret of the D string, then to the fifth fret of the D, and the third fret of the D. So it starts with a open D. same thing for tweezer it's just tweezer starts on with starts with an open a Sorry. and uh, yeah that is the, the the basic riff for tweezer all right so for sample in a jar uh, we're going to start with an A triad chord here. So we've got our um, ring finger is on the 11th fret of the D. Uh, index finger is on the uh, 9th fret of the G. And middle finger is on the uh, 10th fret of the B. And we're going to move up here to a, uh, a C chord. So we've got our uh, ring finger is now on the 10th fret of the D. Middle finger is on the 9th fret of the G, and index is on the 8th fret of the B. And I believe we're up to a C chord here, or I'm sorry, a G. So we've got our um, ring finger is on the uh, 9th fret of the D string. Uh, index finger is on the 7th fret of the G, and middle finger is on the 8th of the B. And we've got this uh, bar here on the seventh, which is a D, um, and we're just barring the uh, the G, the D. Uh, I'm sorry, the D, the G, uh, and the B strings here. And we're going to an A, uh, and that's going to have our um, ring finger is on the seventh fret of the G, uh, the D string. Middle finger is on the sixth of the G, and ring and index is on the fifth of the B. And then from here we go to an E. So our ring finger is now on the, uh, si the sixth fret of the uh, D string. Uh, index finger is on the fourth fret of the um, G, and middle finger is on the fifth fret of the B. And we go to an E minor. So just our middle finger and uh, ring move here. So now our middle finger is on the fifth fret of the uh, D string, and our uh, ring finger is on the fifth fret of the B. That index finger stays on the uh, fourth fret of the G. And we finish it with a D. 
ring finger on the fourth fret of the uh, D string, index finger on the second fret of the G, and middle finger is on the third fret of the B. So you can do this again. this D instead of playing instead of playing this um, there's that fill that you hear a lot of the time which leads you into the, to the A. Um, so that is uh, index finger is on the uh, seventh fret of the A string and we hammer on to the ninth fret sorry we hammer on to the ninth fret of the A seventh fret of the G, seventh fret of the D, and we go back to the A string, uh, back to the nine, to the seven. And that leads you into the A. So playing it that way with, the, with that slowly. for watching um, this is really fun this is a little different just trying to throw all these little riffs in here I uh, hope you all enjoyed it thank you very much a little bonus sand uh, sand time that sand riff is a lot of fun to play <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 